Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kenshin, and today we're going to be discussing some shit. So today, uh, I was driving home from school trying to think up uh, what to complain about today. There's a lot of things I have on the menu, but I don't, know, I don't really feel like getting angry, per se, today. I don't feel like screaming about religion or feminism, despite the fact that there's a lot I could complain about. Today, I, I decided to go for something that I, I feel very passionately about that isn't something that pisses everybody off. So I, that's a bit of a surprise, but um, I don't know. It's, it's something that's stuck out to me as of late. But probably, I would say, maybe the past four years, to be honest. All right, so when you were younger, you know, what did you want to be? What, everyone would say something like, you know, I want to be the president, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be a scientist, I want to be a doctor. You know, when we were young, we all had these, these dreams, these things that we wanted to be. And of course, being these things is a lot of work. It's a lot of challenge. And you know, as we get older, we may find out that those things don't suit us. Because it's just so much, it's not within our field of interest. As we mature and grow, well, we learn different things interest us. Which is fine, but there are still people who are interested in that, and there's a small amount who do make it through. But here's the thing. Sorry, it's getting cold out. My allergies are getting kicked up. There's also a fair share of people who still at this point in their lives, you know, I'll be 19 soon. You know, they, they have this dream that they want to do. They want to this career profession that they, they would love to do. Some, something that's practical, of course. I'm not talking, you know, being, you know, Candyman rock star James Bitch McPheel Sam. You know, you know, not talking about being some ridiculous rock star or some crazy ass name like that. <coughs> but a job, a career that they want to have, something they want to do. You know, but forces are pushing them against that all right think about um office space all right i watched this movie a long time ago when i was a little kid and then i watched it several years ago when i was a sophomore in high school in my sociology class now most all of you have probably seen office space if you haven't you need to check it out it's a great movie and it's funny as fuck but it's also it also raises some serious points the story revolves around a fellow by the name of Peter Gibbons, who is, he dwells in corporate hell, nine to five, you know, the four walls of his cubicle on a daily basis. You know, it, he, he works in an accounting agency, I, I can't remember what it is, what the name of it is, but you know, it's, it's just office work, day in, day out, asshole boss, weird co-workers, asshole co-workers, and you know, um, it's just... It, it's not the life that he wants. You know, he talks about, you know, he values his weekend so amazing that his boss wants him to go and work on the weekend because he, he wanted to go fishing. And, you know, his, his, his girlfriend, she's a bitch to him. You know, everything about it. And the girl that he ends up with at the end of the movie, you know, her job, she works as a waitress and her boss treats her like shit. You know, and basically dealing with both service and working in the office and business industry. This movie basically shows that, you know, the, it's a pretty miserable fair. A lot of us, you know, it was an American movie, but I think the rest of the, wor the world saw it as such. But especially Americans, because we're all about the business. Oh, it, it was so popular, not only because it was hilarious, but because it struck a chord. It hit a nerve, and a lot of people saw themselves as Peter Gibbons. They saw themselves as um, his uh, his girlfriend that he gets later on in the movie. I can't remember who played her or what her name was, but a lot of people saw themselves as these people, and they were like, "Shit, th this is the life I'm living. I'm living a life where I'm subservient to a higher power." I just do what he says because I have to and I just sit in a cubicle all day and I get excited when I get to go somewhere on my lunch break. And I just do it all for a paycheck at the end of the week and then I go and sleep the weekend away and I don't live my life and I rot like this for years and years and years to come. <sighs> Fucking allergies, man. 
But they realize that. The characters realize that. The viewers realize that. And I realized that. I was all of 15 when I first saw this. Or some such. I think it was, I was 15 or 16. Whatever. I was 15, I think. I was 15. We'll just go with that. But it, it, it spoke to me, right? I saw that. Now, for those of you who do or don't know me, what I'd like to do is get into digital media. You know, the things I do here, I'd like to turn that into a career. You know, namely work in New York City or L.A. I would like to, you know, help create movies, especially music videos. Those are the ones I really want to do. But commercials, you know, I want to do the editing, special effects. You know, I, I want to be my own boss and work for myself, independent. But uh, when I actually do it, a job per se, I don't count that as working for someone. Despite the fact that, you know, you have your client that wants something in the end. I want to create, a, I want, a, it's sort of a... Um, a mutualistic relationship where you know you put your heads together and work and say okay we could do this this is what we want let's work together and achieve this vision together make it happen I need you you need me let's do this you work mutually together in a both ways profitable relationship and in the end it gets made and everything's awesome you get paid they get their ad they get their video they get their movie and it all looks great you know and you had the joy of working together and setting something up and creatively using ideas together. Not writing down corporate figures or working on spreadsheets or presentations or whatever, or wearing when casual Friday is or whatever the fuck. Instead, it's a mutual vision being created together. You know, that's the key of it. And that's what I want to do. Now, my mom's opinion on this has changed throughout the years. At first, she was like, no, you can't do that. There's no jobs. Next thing, oh, yeah, no, that'd be great. That's a wide open field. Next, oh, you might want to reconsider. Oh, no, it's a great idea. It's changed. Now, here's the thing. Let's think of the stereotypical sort of, the, the, there's the jokes these days, right? You know, about Asians. You know, oh, you're in fourth grade. Why you no doctor? You know, the, the Asian dad jokes. But think about, those exist for a reason, don't they? You know, you see a lot of, a fair share of minorities in these high-class profession fields. Now, do you, I, I'm not sure, but coming from where I am, this stereotype exists for a reason. Do you think that these people do it because they want to, because they enjoy it? I don't know, I'm sure that there's probably a fair share of people out there who are doctors who do it because they enjoy it. But I can't help but feel that there's also an amount out there, especially in those minority groups, who do it and like it because they were forced into it. You know, the parents wouldn't be happy with anything but this maximum, absolute, sort of, quote, best, I don't know. It's like the, the self-realization concept of psychology. You know, it's sort of like, I feel that a, a fair share of these people probably have their own wants and desires of what they want to do. You know, they might want to do something completely different. They might not want to become doctors or musicians or lawyers or whatever the hell. But yet, you know, these parents push them into it. There's a reason that joke and that stereotype exists. There's a reason it does. It's because it's happening. And you can't expect me to just say that, oh yeah, they all want to do that. No. Our world today, right? We live in a world where your dream means shit. Alright? So, this is your life. And you ought to live it the way you want to. You ought to be able to call the shots and say how you want to live your life. And the majority of what you're going to be doing. Because you better damn well like the career and job you pick. Because you're going to be doing that for 30, 40, 50 years. You know, God knows how long. And if you don't like it, well, you're off the creek without a paddle. And my idea is in my life, I don't want to wake up one day when I'm in my, my 50s and my 60s and look back and say, holy shit, I wasted my life doing pointless things. I just filed numbers into a computer database or I just... I worked for some asshole in corporate who's got his corner office all the while he's, you know, sipping whiskey and watching porn and chomping on 
fucking sirloin tips while I'm working my ass off on this computer all day long with four white walls. I don't want that. I don't want to be serving people the rest of my life. I don't want to work in some food service. I don't want to be in something like that. I want to work in a creative field. And I'm imagining there's a fair share of people who don't want to get into this sort of rote, strictly written, guidelined, hard job either. But you're told when you're young, oh, you can be anything you want. You can do anything you want. You can achieve your dreams. Yeah, you can. I fully believe that you can. You can do what you want. Now, the thing is, no one ever says it's going to be easy. If someone says you can easily do that, you know, people are going to think, oh, I can say I'll be an astronaut and that'll happen. No, it's, it's hard. No one ever said life's going to be easy. But if you want to achieve your dreams, you're going to have to work for it. You start off young being told that you could do whatever you want, that you could achieve your dreams. But then as you get older, society starts to try and pigeonhole and push you into something that it wants you to do. Your dreams don't matter. Here's what's easy. Here's what you should do. Parents push it. Teachers push it. Everyone pushes it. You know, and, it, it, and most often, people buckle under all of this. You know, people are told, oh, you'll never make it with that. You know, there's nothing there. No jobs, nothing. You know, you'll, you'll never do well with that. And people cave into this pressure. Instead of saying, fuck all that, I'm going to do what I want. This is my life, my world, my dream, my career, my job. They live in accordance to what other people want for them or say they should do. There's no individualism anymore. We listen to our parents. We listen to these people who tell us what we should be doing. People who aren't us. Fellas, there comes an age. There comes a point when we should start making our own decisions. Don't you guys think? You know, when we can say, yes, I know this is what I want to do. I can't see myself doing anything else. This is where my interest lies, and this is what I want. And if you don't think I can do that, well, fuck you. I'm going to do it. And if I die trying, theoretically, then so be it. Then I'll try something else. But no, people are just abandoning their dreams for the sake of what? For the sake of what? For some guaranteed 9-to-5 job where they get a guaranteed paycheck? Fuck that. I don't want no goddamn guaranteed job with a guaranteed paycheck. I want to live a life and have a job where it's something I want to do, where it's something I have a passion for. Yeah, sure, I want to make the money. Yeah, sure, I want to have this job. But I don't want to have no goddamn job if it's going to be a thing that I hate, a thing that I loathe, where I got to deal with someone who's over me, ordering me, pushing me down, telling me what to do. I want to live my life in my accordance, in my way, and work with other people in an equal field and do something where it comes from my core, who's me. I don't want to just be some number in a fucking society, in a fucking list of all these Hundreds of people who work in this skyscraper office in the middle of some city, working on a computer all day, sitting in a laptop with a 45-minute lunch break. I don't want to just be a number. I don't want to just be a list. I want to be a person. I want to live my life and do what I want in my way. And there's no goddamn thing that's ever going to fucking stop me. And more people should see it like that. I encourage you to look at what's going on with your life and what you're doing and think, is this really what I want? Is this really my own decision? Or is someone else calling my own shots for me? Because more often than not, you'll find that that's what's happening. I figured this out on my own. All right? And the problem is, our education system today is fucked up. We know it's fucked up. But, you know, people could say it all the time. But I went through it. Back in high school, all right? Freshman year. They're already, like, literally the first day I got there, I didn't even know where the fuck the bathrooms were or whatever the fuck. And they're already telling me, you should think about college. You should think about your career. Motherfuck, I just haven't even learned how to say, you know, tenga ay un aeropuerto. Yo, jamapel el baguette, please. Yo, I ain't even learned how the fuck any of this works. My, my Spanish class, you didn't even let me go to that. You didn't even let me go to my U.S. history class, my English, what the fuck? I haven't even gotten through my first day of high school yet and you're telling me I need to think about my career and where I'm going to college? Fuck you, all right? But so many people are willing to just go with this. Yeah, you should probably plan, but the thing is, it's up to you in your own time. There's a difference between taking a little while longer to think and consider 
and form it on your own terms. And, you know, just, you know, being like, ah, fuck all that shit, I'm just gonna not bother. No, th these are things that you have to do. But to have a school sticking a red-hot poker up your asshole and out your mouth telling you, you need to do this, is bullshit. It's garbage. Alright? And it only increases year after year after year. And when I told them, hey, I'm going to community college because I'm going to get my core classes out of the way, general studies, what I need for my first two years in a degree, I'll get that done, and then I'll figure out if I want to go to some university or something so I can focus on my digital media work. They, they acted like I just whipped out my cock and pissed on their table. They sounded so appalled and so disgusted that I wanted to go to a community college? What the fuck is wrong with you? You should consider this big ass university in Timbuktu. I'm like, fuck you, all right? And then when I told them I didn't want to take any AP classes, no advanced classes, I wasn't going for an advanced regents degree. I just wanted my regents degree. I just wanted to get the fuck out of high school and start going to somewhere where I can figure out what I'm doing with my life and do what I need to to get to the next stage. Again, they acted like I took a dump on top of the piss on their table. They're like, you should really consider taking AP this or AP that. You should consider this advanced class. You should consider this. You should consider that. Fuck you. Don't tell me what I should do. I'm in here telling you what I want to do. Don't think that I'm some unintelligent nimrod who didn't figure these things out. I know what I want to do, and that's why I'm in here telling you. If I asked you, hey, I'm not sure what I want to do. Could you give me some help? That's different. But what I'm saying, I want to do this, I've thought this over, and after you tell them this, they continue saying, no, you should do this, you should really consider that, and giving you a big piss fit if you don't is bullshit. You're living your own life and making your own choices, and the fact that there are people out there, motherfuckers, who try and dissuade you from that because it's their job, because they're supposed to be guiding you, because they obviously know better, is fucking cock. That's garbage. All right? I went through that. I know what I want to do and I'm happy where I am right now because I know that I'm laying the groundwork for the things that I'll be doing in the future. But all I had through high school was people telling me, you're doing this wrong. You're going to fuck it up. You're an idiot. What the fuck is wrong with you? My mom at least supported what I wanted to do. She helped me come to this decision because she's behind what I want to do. Because she knows that no matter what she says, I'm not going to give up on my dream. Unlike so many other people in the world who let the powers that be push and shove them around and send them in all completely other fucking different directions instead of where they want to go. People aren't going and doing what they want to do and where they want to go in their lives. That's why we have so many people waking up near the end of their lives finding out, oh shit, I just wasted my entire life doing some job that was some guaranteed boring ass shit where I was a number but yet I got paid. Was your life worth it? Did you live a life where you said this was fruitful? I enjoyed these past years. Bullshit. No one enjoys that. Granted, there are people who do. And they love what they do. But there's a fair amount of people who don't want to do that. Why do you think there's a term corporate hell? No one wants to end up there for the most part. But yet everybody does. People buckle. They surrender. They get down and they release their dreams. And they never live them. You're told early on that you can be what you want. But then everyone else says, no, you should do what's easy or what's good on the market. Yeah, people are choosing their careers, their jobs, based on a simple Google search. What job is easy to get into? What job is popular? What job has an open field? Uh, excuse me, when did one's choice of life and career become the result of a fucking Google search? If you're choosing what you want to do based on what you find on motherfucking Google, what the fuck? Or if you're choosing what you want to do based on how much you get paid, what the fuck? You should do what you want to do because you want to do it. Not because anyone else is making you, not because it looks good on paper, not because the pay is high, but because it's something that you personally care about and it's your fucking dream. The day that you let someone's other abilities and other powers rip that dream from you, the day that you surrender that dream is the day you've lost everything in your life. Because when you surrender your dream, you surrender all of your worth. We all have dreams, but people are just so willing to give it up 
and go down, get down on their hands and knees and just crawl for the powers on top so that they could just make some meager, pathetic, worthless slave living. It's our world today. Whatever happened to when people cared, when people did what came from their heart. We don't do that anymore. We do what looks good. Why do you take these classes in school? Why do you take this AP bullshit? Why do you take these useless SAT, ACT standardized testing? Well, I'm partly because some people make you bother. Why? Because it looks good. It looks nice. Who the fuck cares what looks good and what looks nice? What matters is what you care about. But do these people care about what you care about? No, they fucking don't. Guidance counselors are fucking useless. All right? For the most part, I'm sure there's a good handful out there who really are there to help. I know my mom works with some. My mom's a teacher. I know my mom works with some who are good. But there's also a fair share of people out there who are just there to try and make their numbers look good by passing you on into some motherfucking foot up the ass university. Or some taking some goddamn stupid AP course or advanced bullshit. Whatever happened to taking life as it comes, facing the challenges as they are, and living at a pace where just you wait for the things to come to you and say everybody's fucking jumping years and years ahead because they want to look good. They want to get out into the working force. They want to get ready so they can suck the big man's cock. It's bullshit, all right? Every dream is foreseeably possible. If you put that work in, even if you're a complete fucking moron, if you want to do something, you can work yourself there. You can do it. All right? Look at your life. Are you doing what you want? Because if you're not, believe it or not, you have the opportunity to change that. You can do something about it. You know what? Because it's your motherfucking life. You can't let anyone else live it for you. You got to make your own choices and your own decisions. And it's possible to do that. Think about what you really ultimately want. It's up to you, not anyone else. And never let anyone push or take it from you. And if you have... Well, it's time to take it back. You're your own power. You're your own light. You're your own ideas. You're your own dream. And that's yours to keep forever. Pursue it. Even if you don't get it, if you get close, make your life worthwhile. Go for the things you want. Because if you don't, well, you ain't lived. You just existed. Fight for your dreams. Because the dreams in our lives are what truly matter. I'm Kenshin, and I'm peacing the fuck out. We'll see you guys later.